This minivan speaks volumes about the recent violence. We are in Cizre, a predominantly Kurdish city in southeastern Turkey, situated close to the borders with Syria and Iraq. For eight days, the city's 120,000 inhabitants lived under a curfew. In the district of Nur, the epicenter of the clashes, the streets have been reduced to a battleground. Look at what happened to my shop. Enough is enough. We want peace. A few meters away, a burnt house. Its owner takes us inside to show us the damages, which he says were caused by rocket fire. Its facade is riddled with bullet holes, suggesting it might have been used as a base by Kurdish militants. We're the ones that protected this area, us, residents. The Turkish special forces came with their tanks and bombs. I had no choice but to defend myself, to kill and to hide. I couldn't just stay here with my arms crossed. The scars of the fighting are visible everywhere. Sandbag barricades, burnt tyres, pit holes and traps. Militants made holes in the walls to create their escape routes. The fighters used guerrilla tactics, inspired by the civil war in neighbouring Syria. Many of them young. They say they're members of the YDGH, the youth wing of the PKK. Their aim? To clear their neighbourhoods of the Turkish authorities. Like the Syrian Kurds, they aspire to establish an autonomous Kurdish region. One local leader of the movement agreed to speak to us, with his face hidden behind a mask. Most of the youth were carrying rifles or pistols. Some used their own weapons, such as Kalashnikovs. But we did not use heavy weaponry here. Most of the time we attacked with homemade bombs. With the curfew lifted, an uneasy calm fills the air as residents rush to buy supplies. They fear violence may resume and a new curfew may be imposed. A respite from fighting means the residents could finally lay to rest the victims of the recent violence. As the sirens of ambulances cut through the air, Thousands join the funeral gathering. The martyrs never die, shouts the crowd, as a mother mourns the death of her son. More than 20 people have died in clashes, including civilians. The smallest coffin is for a baby. The infant suffered from high fever but couldn't be taken to hospital because of the curfew. Anger is rising at the government's crackdown on Kurdish rebels. Many of the people here support the PKK, deemed a terrorist organization by Ankara. They call for an end to the military operation. Peace is the only solution. For 40 years now, this country, its successive governments and all its people have witnessed that this problem can't be solved by waging war and using arms, by killing people and having people killed, or by arresting people and throwing them into prison. There are no alternatives to peace. Many in Zizre hope Ankara resumes peace talks with the PKK and find a way to end the war, which they say has cost more than 40,000 lives in Turkey.